uh, at, uh, at face value. And beware too, this is an age of Aynat al mudillun This is an age of Iman that leads people astray. That's what it is. This is an age of people that are leading other people astray. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Sahih Bukhari said that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala لا يحبذ العلم في زعن من الناس Allah will not take knowledge suddenly from people ولكن يحبذه في قبض العلماء but he'll take it by seizing the scholars of this Ummah حتى لا يبقي أو لا يبقى لا يبقي عالما until not even one alim remain أتخذ الناس رؤساء حالا فسئلوا They'll take as leaders ignorant people and they'll ask them questions. فأفتوا and they'll give fatwa because they have no taqwa. فضلوا وأضلوا They go astray and they lead others astray. When I was in the Emirates, one of the muftis there from Mauritania, a man of immense knowledge, Sheikh Abdullah Siddiq, and he was uh, in, uh, a man came in and asked him for a fatwa and he said, come back tomorrow. And the man turned to me and said, that be out of shape. Does he know anything? He's looking at me like, does he know anything? Why doesn't he give me an answer right away? Why doesn't he give me an answer right away? Does he know anything? Because the man has what? He has taqwa. He doesn't just give a fatwa like that. And traditionally, the, the word in Arabic for fatwa is najila. And najila is the same word for tribulation. It's a calamity that descends upon the head of the mufti. And the Muftun had fear about fatwa. One of the Sahaba, you read Adab al 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 mustafi wal mufti You read the book uh, about the Adab, the courtesy of asking for fatwa and giving fatwa. One of the things mentioned in that book is that the Sahaba, one man would ask them a fatwa, and he would say, go to so-and-so, and they would go to so-and-so, and he would say, go to so-and-so, and they would go so, and it would keep going around, and then it came back to the first person. Nobody wanted to give the fatwa. And now, like uh, Sheikh Shadid Inayzim said, Kadar al-Mushahidun, everybody wants to give fatwa. People read state Sabbath and suddenly they're Mushahid al-Asr. They know all the Adilla, wal Hujjad, wal Barahim. People used to, st 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 Imam Malik al said he didn't give fatwa until 70 Muhannik in Medina gave him permission. 70 scholars in Medina gave him permission to give fatwa, then he gave fatwa. Now, Ibn, uh, Ibn Atadja, rahimahullah says, لحوم العلماء مسمومتهم The flesh of our scholars is poison. The flesh of our scholars is poison. You'll die from it. Summun qasir. It will kill you. As that he said, no one will speak about the ulama in this ummah except Allah will kill their heart. You need to qalbuhu. He'll kill their heart. And the worst thing about a dead heart is when you hear, wow, it doesn't have any effect on you. You'll just go on the way you were going before because the heart's dead. That's what happens. The heart dies. And one of the signs of the end of time is most of qulu. The hearts die. People have no fear. There's no taqwa. Awwalu ilman yurfa al khusuwa. The first knowledge to be taken away from people is fear. There's no taqwa. The, the, the message, if there's no dhikr of Allah, if there's no ilm, if there's no ta'aleem, it's a waste of time. Hurry. The, the Prophet said, Sirat al Yawm al Qiyamah. It's just empty, foulness. كَأَنَّهُ قَانَ مِنْ جِيْفَ Like he got up from a dead carcass. People that sit in gathering and no mention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no mention of the knowledge, these things. It just ends up jidat, uh, just argumentation, politics, رَأَيْ كِذَا أَنَا أَتَقِدُ هَذَا عَرَفُ لَا قِيلَ مَا رَأَيُكُمْ And it's just, that's what it is. أَجَابُ كُلِّ بِرَأْيٍ بِرَأْيِهِ وَالْوَقْتُ أَنْفَسُ مَا عِلِيْتُ بِحَبِّهِ وَأَرَاهُ أَذْهَرَ مَا عَلَيْهِ يَضِيعُ Time is the most precious thing you have and it's the easiest thing to lose. And I'll tell you, time is going fast. Time is speeding up. If you don't think time is being cranked up right now, then you, I don't know what you've been looking on the terminal too long. Time is going fast and everybody's feeling it, not just uh, as you get older, even young people feeling it. Time is speeding up, which is one of the signs of the end of time. 
Quickly go into action. Quickly go into action. When they say, أَعْرُضُوا عَنِ اللَّهُ الْقَارُوا لَنَا أَعْمَالُنَا وَلَكُمْ أَعْمَالُكُمْ Those who turn away from vain talk, what do they say? لَنَا أَعْمَالُنَا We just follow our actions. وَلَكُمْ أَعْمَالُكُمْ And you have your actions. وَلَا نَبْتَغِي الْجَاهِدِينَ We don't want ignorant people that are going to waste our time. Because time is too precious. Like one of the setup in Mecca was walking, there were people sitting in the street, empty talk. And he said, Wallahi, tamannayta nashtariya minhum sa'atihim. I wish I could have bought from them their hours that they wasted. Just bought it. Because time going, we're all getting gray hair, we're all heading towards the grave. We're all heading towards the grave. And the other is al-qubur, tomorrow in the grave, and we're going to be asked. We're not going to be asked about what's your opinion about uh, this or that, or what do you think about that. Man, I'm so like a rabbit, like thunder. And there's a lot of people that aren't going to answer that question. And a lot of them are going to be people who said, that Allah is Allah here. Because the Prophet of Allah said that people will hear that voice of thunder and they'll just start shaking and they won't be able to talk. And we know physiologically that when people get intense here, they can't talk. It's one of the signs. They call it stage fright. They can't they lose the power to talk. People who, there are people that take tests. In the dunya, I'm telling you, they take tests in the dunya, and they can't do that from anything. They lose everything goes blank, their mind goes blank. They just go completely blank, and they fail in the test. And you can't go and tell the instructor, I forgot it all. I know the answer. Let me take it again. It's over. Marafuka, who's your Lord? And it's not enough to say, Can you do not la ilaha illallah wa qulnahu? People used to say, La ilaha illallah, so we said it because taqlid. To tell him, I lie to you, shara'an. To blindly imitate in the kalima is not permissible. That's the rajah from the ulama. To make taqlid blind following of our ancestors, our fathers, in the kalima is unacceptable. So this is the state, this is the state of affairs. I don't know who has all this time, but there's a lot of work to do, all of us. And we're all muqassirun. I don't know anybody. In fact, really, if you look in traditional Islam, we don't have hukum al every single last one of them. And you put, took the traditional taqeen uh, of the ulama before in the old days, and you show up in court, and they look into your life, You'd be faster, including me. We'd all just be pusak. They wouldn't even take a shahada from us. We couldn't even bear with it. And we're talking about Abu Hamad al Ghazali. They wouldn't even take our witness. They'd say, Insi, get out of here, oh God. You're just rabble. We have to, something has to change. You know, people, we need to get doing things, not just talking. You know, I don't know, I just feel every day it just seems more urgent for me. That's the way I'm feeling. It just seems more urgent. You know, the sleep gets deeper, it just seems more urgent. But, you know, I, I'm doing that. We're what we know, and nowhere in the Book of Allah do I see you just give up. I don't see that anywhere in the book of Allah. The Prophet said things are going to get bad. And what did he tell us to do? Bad Rupal Amat. Get working. When things get bad, get working. If you're planting a seed, get planting it. Get planting it. And death is sa'a, that's sa'a to sura, our own death. We don't have to wait for the big one, but it could be around the corner. Well, now you believe. What will 